Hi guys! Not everyone has rich parents or enormous amounts of cash, but it seems like most people can afford the main things in life. I mean, food, clothes, travel cards, essential things like that. A lot of people can even afford some basic hobbies like skiing or cycling. Although, there are those who almost don't have any money at all. The Bailey family is no exception. They had a single son, DeMarco. DeMarco's parents did everything they could to compensate the lack of money. They loved their boy dearly. The boy was very grateful for all the support he received from his parents. His classmates often made fun of him at school because of his old shabby clothes. The only thing he liked about school was P.E., which is not surprising for boys. Thanks to DeMarco's teacher, he showed some serious interest to football. At one point, he even wanted to gather his own team. But because his family didn't have any money, he simply couldn't afford any gear. Many kids today are very lazy. They don't seem to want to stop playing computer games. And DeMarco, on the other hand, is a very passionate boy. And so he didn't let his dream die. He knew he couldn't allow himself to start whining. He found a very peculiar way out from his difficult situation. He found two big old tires on the side of the road, bind them together and started training. He wasn't complaining at all and soon showed some pretty good results. One day, a man in a very expensive car was passing by. He got curious with the kid and stopped to see what he was doing. The man whose name was Davis he used to be a football coach. He said that over the course of his career, he's never seen anybody being that passionate and determined. He says that even some of the most diligent boys can sometimes be lazy. Davis talked to DeMarco for a while and got very surprised that even while they talked, the boy kept on training. And when the man said he had to be going, the young athlete kept on running by the side of the car. He didn't want to stop for a single moment. Davis said that it was certainly something new for him. He even took a photo of DeMarco to show it to his boys. The man was so smashed he couldn't believe what he saw. Without thinking too much, he posted a story on his Facebook page. In just about two hours, the post got viewed over 30,000 times. Many wealthy parents started complaining about their kids and the fact that they don't want anything from life. And so a few days later, over $6,000 were raised on GoFundMe. That was more than enough for DeMarco to buy all the necessary equipment. When the gear finally arrived, the boy was still busy lifting tires. He got very emotional and even cried a little bit, saying that he didn't deserve such a wonderful present. But DeMarco's luck didn't end there. People kept on sending him useful stuff. People from all around the country brought him things he so desperately needed just a few days ago. It's very sweet that the boy remained modest and grateful for all the things he received. A lot of things he got he decided to give away to charity. DeMarco said that he has parents and friends that will take good care of him and that it's better to help those in need. So let's wish this wonderful boy well and good luck. Hopefully, we will soon see him among the world-class footballers. So don't forget to help those in need, you guys, because even little things count. A little bit of attention can change somebody's life. That's all for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Press the like button if you enjoyed watching it and share it with your friends. See you later.